Well, a magical place has been preserved on the Chesapeake Bay near Annapolis. Cars Beach has come out of hiding for mm. all to find out its special story. Some of the best jazz and R&B artists came here to play in the 50s and 60s. And little Donnie Harrison, who grew up in Severna Park, his mom used to take him to the beach. <laughs> and he went back there today, all grown up as a reporter now, to tell us how it's been saved from development. The soothing sounds of Cars Beach along our Chesapeake Bay, but the sound of Mother Nature is not what made Cars Beach famous. It was the sounds of music that brought people here, and when I say music, it was the best America had to offer. It was from James Brown to Sarah Vaughan to Count Basie to Duke Ellington to Little Richard to Stevie, all the greats came to Annapolis. So to make this happen, Mayor Gavin Buckley had to find financing to purchase this property to make it a heritage park. Now it will be here for all to reflect and enjoy. What's happened today is given us an opportunity to tell the story of the musicians that came to this city, played the beach, and really were part of the soundtrack of the last century. I'm so proud to be part of this. Because of racial segregation, many places were set up for white people and other places for black people. Unlike the white counterparts of the time, Cars Beach was open to all. Whites came here too. We said your money spends here just like everywhere else. So it was a black beach, but we did not prohibit whites from coming. Cars Beach is just outside of downtown Annapolis, and so many people enjoyed the best R&B acts America had to showcase. And just because it is in Annapolis, it wasn't just an Annapolis thing. My mother came from the District of Columbia. She came from D.C. So it was not just the people in Annapolis. Annapolis is a small town. So it was, you know, from D.C. and Baltimore, and people came. This was a place to go for entertainment and beach at a time when you didn't have air conditioning. That inclusion continues today. Now the beach has been restored for all to appreciate the roles Cars Beach played in our local and national history. The ancestors have been wanting this forever, and it happened today. At Cars Beach, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News. Now as other beaches opened up to African Americans like Sandy Point and Ocean City, the popular popularity of Cars Beach faded. The last concert at the Pavilion in 1974, Frank Zappa was the last person to perform at Cars Beach.